the day's too bomb. I woke up late, missed the rest of the ghosts, and now I'm here at Shit. My soldiers. Looks like they crashed or something happened. All the ghosts from Bolivia. Operation Wildland. I'm going to digitally upload the black box, the contents. Let that go on. My God, this is crazy. Now, allegedly picking up a lot of communicates, Walker and Weaver are together somewhere. So, I'm going to to meet with Walker and Weaver. Hopefully, hopefully uh, make contact with Holt and Midas. supposed to be over here with, with Walker from um, Bolivia. Storm Cloud 1-1, one one, this is Weaver, come in, over! This is Weaver, come in, over! Anything? Well, guys. Slando Gomez, Fury, letting them know. Walker, what the hell are you doing? I'm going to shoot him down, just to teach him a lesson. I'm not authorized to kill him. Weaver. 
why you shooting at me? I vow, I will get Walker, I'll get him, I'll make him pay for what he did, I wonder if, 
Yeah. Am I the only one on a Bolivia that Stop right there! Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense. You know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. You don't allow shooting an arrow one. No what's air one? A cave. That's what we call it. Get in. God, it's crazy. I know I should have stayed in Bolivia, but it was just 99% in favor of the enemy. But here, I can deal with whatever's going on here. What is this place? Gosh. This is HT Bomb Stealth Warrior. I'm expecting to hook up with Slandon Gomez, Fury, Bobby J, Weaver's friend. And whoever's left are the ghosts. Boys are right or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. <laughs> Can you believe this place, man? Mine's blown. Yep. They're friendly more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. You boys know what took out our birds. No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Time with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know what we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? Let's try to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago overall went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot-in-the-neck technique to enforce it. Scout tech is still making all the high-tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skelltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. 
come in down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. You think this was how things were going to go when Seth came okay. Here's another superpower. I can't find Midas. A weaver. He's relaxed. Huh? We'll take care of it, alright? And the wasp. Yeah. With the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Matt Shells, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. Our mission here has been hard. So many lost. So many suffering. My closest allies. My brothers. Cut down by a man we once trusted. But we are ghosts. Alone, we are formidable. Together, we are unstoppable. Others have survived here, and I have found the deadliest. As a team, we will take the fight to our enemies. We will avenge our fallen. Because we are ghosts. Available at any point after you have reached Erewhon for the first time, Fury, Fixit, and Vasily can be activated or dismissed at will. And from the beginning, you will be able to fully customize them. This customization includes all of the physical attributes, as well as gear, equipment, or even full costumes. Your teammates can be tweaked just as much as your main character, and they will always follow your own behavior. If you decide to go stealth, they will equip silencers and crouch, or go prone when possible. But if you decide to go loud and open fire, they will stick by your side. When deployed, you can issue different orders to your teammates through the order wheel. There are four different orders you can give to your teammates. You can tell them to regroup on your location, to hold their current position, 
go to a specific location and to open fire on nearby enemies. These orders can be given at any time, even through your binoculars and drone. Once they approach potential threats, the teammates will notify you and mark them automatically. Got a hostile. With a good look at your enemies, you will be able to set up a sync shot where each of your teammates makes a target. You can even link it to your three sync shot drones for a simultaneous seven target take. The teammates have weapons equipped at all times, a versatile assault rifle to accommodate all situations, and a primary weapon that you will be able to find too. Indeed, apart from mark upgrades and passive bonuses, the full gunsmith is accessible to your teammates, and their weapon of choice will have a direct effect on the battleground. Depending on the type of weapon they have equipped, teammates will adapt their engagement distance and rate of fire. From close distance shotgun wielding, all the way to long distance sniper shots. Of course, if you get taken down, the teammates priority will be to try and rescue you. To achieve that, they will first focus their fire on the surrounding enemies before getting to you. And they will expect the same from you, especially as you will be able to carry them to safety if the situation requires it. We'll see you on the battlefield, ghosts. You ever see yourself doing this? You know, not intense. Oh my god. Oh. Beautiful. I'll take it. I'll take it. Hell yeah. Of course. I need my meds. Oh my gosh, the game has just changed. 50 50. Alright, slam up your meds outside. You ever think we'd end up here? Hey, Nomad. I got something you might find interesting. <laughs> What's with the voice, lady? Don't freak me out. You ready for your personal tour of Arawa? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. Now the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. Me too. Ready for this fight? I'll go talk to this guy. Did you hear? 
Ballard has a cure. A cure? At this well, point, what? I won't believe anything until I see it with my own eyes. Fine, but allow yourself a little relief. But soon it'll be time to think about the future, and we're gonna need you. The future? We all need to decide. Sentinel attacked us with a plague, like sneaks, cowards. My, my brother is dead, country? children are dead. If we live, we fight. We owe the dead that much. I'm glad we agree. Now we start convincing the others. Oh, whoa. COVID-19. You're a little far from home, aren't you? I'm here on work. This is no vacation. You don't look like the typical tourist. In fact, you look like you have a little bit of soldier in you. Well, what's your story? I came here looking for a little peace. Instead, I found the wolves. It sounds like we have a common enemy. What can you tell me about them? I've been doing recon on those pricks for months now. They're different than regular Sentinel. They're more like you. They're highly specialized. They work in small teams and they're lethal. They got their own off sites all to themselves. They hardly ever leave. They just train. I'll have to pay them a visit. <laughs> what? You got a death wish? You can't fight them alone. They're too good. They'll need a full team to take them on. Can I count you in? <laughs> like I said. I came here looking for peace. But that doesn't mean I can't tell you where to find a fight. Let me know when you're ready. You need a team, so either bring your own or I'll help you find one. Then I'll show you where to find the wolves' current offsite, and you can get down to business. I'll see you later. Cool. The battlefield will need more blood. It makes the green grass grow. Right? I guess. That sounds so cryptic. Oh my gosh. I gotta, I gotta take a shit. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta take a shit. A little bit of privacy. Oh my god.
Oh my gosh. Oh. All right. Done. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I know I shouldn't have done that, but... <laughs> I couldn't help it. I had to go. It was the only place that was kind of private. I'm curious about that that net up there. I'm gonna ask that that woman, uh, Jericho, or was that, is that her code name? So, I'm gonna ask her about that. Uh, we need to help out our sick people, but we need to make sure that we stay healthy. So use the proper sanitary procedures out there. Yeah, this is her. I asked her about that net. What's with the fancy net there on Erewhon's crater? Well, it's hardly a net, but yes, it is fancy. It's bleeding edge, multi-layered camouflage equipment that blocks visibility with surrounding environmental patterns. More importantly, it fools the drones. It's how I keep Erewhon hidden and virtually impossible to find. So it works the way a chameleon would, putting it in the background. A little more advanced, but yes. The fabric uses a signature management system that disrupts thermal patterns, infrared wavelengths, and radio emissions so drones can't run their recognition algorithms. It won't fool a human eye. I mean, if somebody was looking at a drone feed, they might notice something weird, but... Nah, nobody can check thousands of hours of video feed on a roll. Right. It makes hiding things from drones pretty easy. They can't respond to what they don't see. It was developed by Skeltech. Luckily, I just so happen to know how to hijack it. Now Erewhon can remain safe for at least a little while. I like your style, Jericho. I'll see you around. Sure. I'll be seeing you. Since Weaver's friend is out there, he's going to be taking Weaver's body back. We just want to live in peace. Don't forget that. Oh, forget what? We found... Hey, this land dog. Hey. You coming? Yeah. We're going to go track down Walker. I'm on my way. Is the uh, Weaver's friend still there? Yeah. Yeah, he's waiting for all the paperwork for to release uh, Weaver's body for transport back to the States for burial. So, he's going to be with us for a while. Okay. I'm on my way.
They dropped out a black hawk will transport us. Send your text. I'm right here. Radio silence. people by the book. Thank you. 
How are you making out with that? It's kind of taking a long time. No one's coming here. Every sensible soldier is out fighting raids and ambushes. We've got those assholes on the ropes. Here's one book. I know. Radio silence. Greetings, stranger. This place I'm looking for. Seriously? Any idea where I can find it? Awesome. Thanks. Do I want to smell functioning? been out here forever. We're not going to find shit. Hey pal, zero movement in my sector. Holy <laughs> shit. Nice shot, boss. Hell yeah. Listen, we're going to take down drone is not tagging, not tagging anybody. get the other sniper.
Now it's the hard part. Okay, here comes the hard part. Yeah. 
Wildlands. I don't know. This. I wouldn't mind if the helicopter could only lock on to the enemy, especially those stupid little drones. But the stupid helicopter can't even lock on. Doesn't even have a, a lock on system. It's back to 99% in favor of the enemy. What is the point? What's the point of even participating in all this? It, it's not even 50-50. You don't even have a 50-50% chance. Stupid helicopter. Man, I've had enough. You think this was how things were going to go when Sentinel came in? I don't know. Man, I'm frustrated. I am angry. Anything different since that broadcast went out? I'm but I can't save my ass out there. Might be a good idea. Hey, Nomad. I got something you might find interesting. I'm angry. I am angry and frustrated. Wasting time doing this crap. What's the best way to customize my weapons around here? Well, let's see. You're probably going to want a new scope, a couple of rail attachments, some bigger magazines, maybe even a new suppressor. Huh. You know your stuff. When we came out here, we were planning to survive. Do you have anything you can sell me? I don't have much, but you can take a look. I'll sell you what I can. If you need something I don't have, you can rummage through any military crates you stumble across. The more Sentinel Corp guns guarding them, the more likely you'll be interested in what they're keeping inside. I like the way you think. Hey. I brought hike the other day. It's the top. The units of liberty are shining so bright. Oh, I'm frustrated. I don't see what the point in in Wildlands and Breakpoint. There, it's all 99% in favor of the enemy. I'm not having any fun. Not enjoying this. Rowan, you got a little military in you. I guess I still look the part. Hard to wash that stick off, huh? Tell me about it. Who were you with? Army, 10th Mountain. Good. That ought to come in handy. Can't tell who you're with, though. I'd call that a non-standard uniform. We need deniability sometimes. And honestly, I wear what's comfortable. They let us get away with a lot. Ah. Uh, you're one of those people. I guess I am. Reckon you uh, can't tell me the name of your unit. I could, but... You'd have to kill me. Right. So, where were you before? Oh my gosh, I was Operation Ghost uh, Wildlands, and before that, Operation Resident Evil Section 4. We all talked about that. Yeah. It left me psychologically damaged. I lost all my patience and tolerance. And before that was Operation Goldeneye and also the Gulf War uh, undercover covert ops from January 2nd to September 12th and the buildup of stealth from June to December 1990. Oh, the hunt and kill of Osama bin Laden 
and versus ISIS and so forth. And long before that, networking for building up Ronald Reagan so we could take down the Berlin Wall in 1989, finally. The 2-4, Special Tactics Squadron. I'm a controller. Air Force? Half sock. I was attached to TF Blue for a few years before I got picked up here. Was with Task Force 145 and 06. Hunter Killer Team. Hunter Killer, huh? Something like that. Good. We got lots that needs hunting and killing around here. Just point me in the right direction, and I'll take care of the rest. I like your attitude, but this ain't gonna be easy. Then let's pull chocks and get to work. So, Rowan, how is it that you settled here on Aurora? Ah, uh, you know, classic stuff. Came to the island, found peace, didn't mind the neighbors until they pulled out the killer drones. The usual. Oh. Damn, I'm telling you, I'm frustrated and I'm angry. I'll see you later. Cool. The battlefield will need more blood. Makes the green grass grow, right? I should. I should have killed Walker when I had the chance. I just shot him down. Now I'm regretting it. I'm regretting it. I should have. I should have killed him, but no. So is the broadcast having any effect? Group of outcasts saved no. my ass out there. Might be a good idea no. to join forces. No, I had to let him go. And now, <laughs> I'm paying the price. I'm frustrated and angry. Uh, we need to help out our sick people, but we need to make sure that we stay healthy. So use the proper sanitary procedures out there. Maybe she knows how to take down these enemies. Because I don't know what to do. How do you fit into this whole scale tech design? I was the head of the civic engineering department. Guess you could say I resigned over creative differences regarding Titan. So you had something to do with designing the infrastructure here on Aurora? Sort of. I built on top of what the New Zealand and U.S. military started. Every culture has to do that. Build on top of existing infrastructure. The older the culture, the more infrastructure is already in place, the harder it is to modernize. That's why Europe is such a mess. Why not just tear it up and start over? Once you build something, like roads, you don't want to unbuild them. Plus, Skell wanted to keep all the existing structures in place as a way to preserve the island. That seems like a pain in the ass. I don't mind a challenge. That's what makes me so good at what I do. So I guess your roads are going to be a problem for the next person that comes here to design infrastructure. I doubt it. By the time my roads need to be reworked, people will be flying around Aroa on jetpacks. All these drones must use a massive amount of power. We use more electricity than most third world countries. So if we pull the plug, we can shut the whole operation down. There's no plug. The whole island is powered by a diverse renewable power grid. There are multiple power sources and no one source powers everything. And all the power sources are renewable. None of them need fuel. So you built a lethal drone army and gave it unlimited power. No one thought that might be a problem. Scale insisted our power came from environmentally friendly sources. We have the cleanest power grid on Earth. Also the most expensive. Maybe people like you are the reason Skell had to build his utopia way out here in the middle of nowhere. How many of these renewable power sources are there? There's a massive solar panel farm outside Liberty and wind turbines on the west coast. There are also two oceanic geothermal plants in the channels between the islands. Those are powered by cold water from Antarctica and warm water from the Pacific. There must be some kind of battery where they store all the excess power. Just north of Liberty, there's a dam. Inside are flywheel capacitors. That's where the energy is stored. Sounds like you built this power grid to be rock solid. I guess it's going to be impossible to turn the lights off. Sorry, I built this place to last. That's the scary thing about this World 2.0 you built. It can't be rebooted. Yeah, this is a war crimes. That's what said all this is. War crimes. You're not going to be using this against Russia and China or Iran. 
So I'm using all this crazy technology against against just people. People. That's all. Just people. What kind of air traffic do you get on the island? Before the perimeter of drones made leaving the island impossible, the only people flying in or out were investors or vacationers. To be honest, we've never had much air traffic. Why do you ask? I saw an airport earlier. We might be able to land a bird in there. To evacuate people? Or explore. I'm just spitballing here. The Aroa Airport near Infinity has the big runway, but that's where all the international flights come in. Any smaller airstrips? Somewhere that can land helos. Try Liberty Airport. We use it for internal jumper flights. If you're snooping around there, just be careful. Sentinel uses both of them, so they're crawling with security. I'll see you around. Sure. I'll be seeing you. I'm out of here. I can't deal with all this. <laughs> That's what you said about Wildlands. Yeah, well, I'm having my regrets. It's a no-win situation, Slam Dunk. No-win situation. I am frustrated. I'm frustrated. We can't win. We couldn't win in Bolivia. We can't win here. We just can't win. Thank you.